In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the BuddyPress plugin for your WordPress site, which allows you to create a social network right on your site. This is part of a BuddyPress playlist. The other videos are linked to in the description right down below. So after this video, make sure you check those out. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, click, click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's install and configure the BuddyPress plugin. I'll see you in the screen capture. The first thing we have to do is install the BuddyPress plugin. To do this, we go to Plugins, and then Add New, and it's almost always one of the feature plugins. It is right here, but if you don't see it here, just type in Buddy press into the search bar and it will show up somewhere near the top. I'm going to click on install now to install it and then activate. Now we're sent to the welcome screen for BuddyPress that shows new features that they've added in the most recent update. It's always fun to read through these to see what kind of stuff they've added and what kind of stuff the BuddyPress can do. What it has also done is added new menu items, one called activity on the side, one called emails, and under settings there's now a BuddyPress link. So I'm going to go to this BuddyPress link first. This is where we set a bunch of the important settings. So first of all, if you want to make a social network type site, you're going to want to come in here and activate friend connections and private messaging. These are off by default. You're going to want to turn those two on and probably even user groups, which allows users to come together and form groups around a common discussion thread. Site tracking, you can keep that on or not. That tends to add a lot of data to your database that may not be needed. But if you want to know about activity on posts and comments on your site, you can turn this on. The other ones are on by default. Read through the descriptions on the right to see if that's stuff you want. If you don't want it, just turn them off. It's no big deal. But we want these three that are off by default. To turn those on by clicking on Save Settings. And then we go over to Pages. And BuddyPress has a bunch of pages that it needs. There's a Members page, Activity Stream page, User Groups page, Register page, and Activate page. Now these are often created when BuddyPress is installed. If they're not created, you got to do it manually and add a short code. I'm just going to click on View to make sure it's here. So here's Members page. There's currently one member, which is just me. So that's not too impressive. Activity Streams. Looks like so. And User Groups. Like so. So all these pages exist and there's content there. So these pages are created by the plugin when it's installed, but sometimes they're not for whatever reason. So if they're not created when they're installed, you can create them manually, but it's going to pages, add new, then you create one called members, one called activity, one called user groups. Don't put anything into the content. Just name the title members, activity groups, register, activate, and then come back to this page, add them in the drop downs. So you, just, you find the page in here, select it, and then once you've added them all, save settings, and then the plugin is going to automatically find those pages and input the data it needs dynamically. So all you got to do is create the pages, add them in if the plugin does not create them for you, but usually it does. Next up is the options tab. So the toolbar for logged out users, the very first option here is on by default, but I turn it off. The toolbar is this bar up at the top of the page, which is great when you're logged in, but kind of pointless when you're not logged in. So I like to turn that one off. The other ones are fine the way they are, but you can have a quick read through them. The descriptions describe what they do. Allow registered users to delete their own accounts, yes or no. Allow people to upload profile photos, great idea. Upload cover images, also a great idea. Allow profile syncing between BuddyPress and WordPress.com profiles, also a great idea. And then the group creation, group photo uploads, group cover images, also good. These uploads, of course, are gonna go onto your server so you do want to make sure that you kind of police that so people aren't uploading 10,000 photos, which could definitely impair your server's functioning. And this blog and form comment selection is off by default, but it's just another way to allow your community to connect with you and your content. So I often turn this on because the more ways people can interact on your site, the better it is, the more social your site becomes and it can eventually come become almost like a social network. So I turn the first one off turning this one on, and now saving settings. So now we have the settings of the plugin set up. So that's how easy it is to install and configure the BuddyPress plugin. In the other videos in this, in this playlist that I linked to down below, 
you're going to see how to install the complete social network aspect using this plugin. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.